Hi there Capricorn, I'm Jennifer Angel, these are your stars. Now there's still quite a bit of activity happening in the cor four corners of your solar chart. So right opposite you there's the sun uh, there for an another couple of weeks. So this is your area of relationships and um, partnerships and love too. So you know if you're with somebody then um, let's just keep in mind that the sun does have a challenging aspect this week with your ruling planet Saturn and that's sitting in your work area. So there could be some conflict going on there uh, about, you know, and some compromise. So maybe you want to do something and it's not suiting your partner. Uh, and so there's a conflict that arises and you know you'll have to work through that. Now let's keep in mind this week that that Mercury, the planet of communication, goes retrograde on the 15th, okay, the end of the week. So anything that happens sort of building up to this time too, it's usually like the two or three days when a planet sort of ingresses into another move or it, or it goes retrograde, it's like when it's coming uh, into that transit is when it can be the most powerful or the most unsettling, whatever way that the transit sort of is, is going or the aspect is, is happening. Um, for you, it's sitting in your solar eighth house, okay, so it's a very official um, area. So it gives you the opportunity to close some things off. When Mercury is retrograde, it's always a good time to close things off. So if you've got some areas there that you need to, uh, you know, clean up, it's also a great time to get rid of the clutter and, you know, clear up the um, uh, administration, you know, administrative type um, jobs and tasks that you know you've been putting aside because they really are not, they don't fall in as high priority. They tend to fall into the bottom of the list, but still they are important and and need to be dealt with. So use this period over this time, you know, to do that. Be careful of business that you're doing with. Uh, friends on that on that level, they say there's no friends in business. Well, of course there are because you know we we often do uh, business with friends or we make friends with the people we do business with, whatever way. What is it, the chicken or the egg? What comes first? Uh, but right now you want to make sure that everything is above board and clear if you're doing you know business on that level with friends. Now Mars is still sitting there. Um, in your solar 10th house, a career and business too. And that's there right through to, uh, let's have a look, I did make a note of that. It moves into the next sign on August the 24th. Okay, so you've got a good six weeks there where things just should start to move. And I say this because, you know, I'm a Capricorn. I feel like I've been a little bit in quicksand, like things are happening but not moving forward. So what Mars there gives you, does a couple of things. It gives you the motivation and the raw sort of energy to just get out there and make it happen. And it just puts a whole emphasis of energy all around your work and business zone that, you know, things will start to fall into place, okay? So this is good news. Um, the other area I'd just like to mention quickly is urine is sitting in your area of uh, family all around home and domestic scene and family. It does go retrograde on the 13th as well and it's there in that retrograde period right through to December the 14th. So over this period, particularly this next week, moving into that period, you could get some upsets around the family, things that you really need to deal with and they may come sudden and you know out of the blue. Once that settles down you're likely to be able to find some situations that may not be uh, let's say the normal accepted by society but situations that work that are a little unusual that you hadn't thought of before okay so uh, keep that in mind and be open to being a, not as traditional as um, a Capricorn would be to find solutions in the family area that work. Okay. Have a great week, Capricorn. I'm Jennifer Angel. Thanks for watching.